Not E Street Kingdom. It's just Clay. Cofield. Who's been in your shoes? Done what you've done. Got older and did what you did. I'm asking you to take the time out. Slow down. Spend some time with God. I don't ever want you to get to the place that when it's time to live holy, it's a wilderness to you. You're not familiar with it. You don't like it. You can't see no fruit from it. So you'd rather live in sin because at least you're happy. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Realize this, the only reason I dance. It's not because I'm getting all this love from everybody. Nah, she only knew. It's not. A lot of people just talk to me because they either want to get on, they want to talk to Chez, Solo, or ER, or they want to get in an event free. <sighs> so I don't do this for uh, any rewards. I do this because I care. I care about what happens to each and every one of you. If God don't ever let me go to the nations and evangelize, if I never touch a national platform, if I don't do anything but perfect my walk with God and have my family, I'm good. I just want to make a difference in somebody's life. And I'm praying that that somebody would be you. You can't never know what it's like to live holy until you try. And let me make this real clear. Holiness is not just tongues. Holiness is wholeness. It's living the right way all the time. The Bible says having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. How long are you going to let the devil steal, kill, and destroy your dreams? How long are you going to give him excuses for why you do stuff that you know God doesn't want you doing? I'm begging you. You can be street kingdom or not. You can just be some street dude. I don't even care. Where are you from? who you represent. At the end of the day, it's just going to come down to are you saved or are you not? Please. Don't let God lead you to a place called holy and then you find out it's a wilderness for you because you don't know him. The reason the children of Israel were so mad is because you got to remember they had all these earthly treasures. But in a desert that's flat, they didn't mean anything. So the earthly treasures actually just became a weight to them. And they didn't like it. So they wanted to give them up. Because nobody wanted to realize how important it was to know God. I pray right now that you would really come into a relationship with God. This is my heart. It'll be my heart to the day I die. I love y'all, and I am praying for you. You can believe that. Amen.